Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Joey's Scuffed Cooking Show. It's been close to a year, I think, since I did one of these last. The first one of these I did was where I used an air fryer. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god! Oh wait, I can see the nuts! But today, I figured I would bring back the cooking show because it's 2023 and one of my goals for this year is to learn how to cook more because if you know anything about me, I struggle to make toast. So I figured I would learn from the best mentor out there, nay, the greatest chef to ever exist, and that is the king himself. Snoop Doggy Dog. There's so many amazing things from here that I could learn how to cook. And so uh, it's getting close to dinner time. Aki wants a meal, so does Luke over there. So I figured I would cook them up something delicious from the dog himself. Boys, before we begin, let me tell you about the sponsor of today, the good folks over at Boxu. Takara season is just around the corner. It's springtime, it's getting nice and warm, and it's just a great time to hang out with your friends, eat some snacks, and what better way to celebrate that than with the Boxu Sakura Story Box. But let me tell you a little bit about Boxu. Boxu delivers the experience of tasting authentic Japanese snacks, candies, and teas sourced directly from centuries old small family businesses right to your door. Their mission is to empower Japan's traditional snack makers by sharing their authentic food and stories with the world. Let's see how cute and adorable this box is. Oh my God, everything is so freaking pink. Look at it. Ah! Immediately, my eyes have been gravitated to some Sakura mochi, which in my opinion is probably my favorite mochi out there because it kind of reminds me of Kirby, who's my favorite character. Look at this little thing. Mm. Oh, it's so sweet, but not overly sweet either. Plus every month, Boxu gives you a tea pairing that perfectly matches with all the snacks in the box. For this month, we have Kagoshima Chirancha, which is a type of specialized green tea from the Kagoshima prefecture. All that and a whole lot more for your Sakura cherry blossom season. So what are you waiting for? Go down to the link in the description below and use my code Joey15 to get $15 off your Boxu order. Thank you box suit for the sponsor back to the video this book is super extensive there's like breakfast lunch dinner desserts even an entire segment that has drinks in them you know I'm, I'm feeling a little bit thirsty so i think i'm gonna make myself a drink and what better way to kick off the snoop dog theme than to make some og gin and juice here's what you'll be needing for your og gin and juice some uh bombay london dry gin right here and some orange juice and uh that's, that's pretty much it. Also, I thought about getting a red cup considering, you know, America is full of red cups, but uh, the best I could find was this onion colored one. It's literally the same color as this onion that I have. Luke just uh, saturated in post. Oh, look, look how red this cup is. Whoa. So the way to make an OG gin and juice is very simple. You take some gin, you pour as much of it as you want. Let, let's do... It's about... It's about one and a half shorts, I'd say. And then you mix it with some OJ from such a height. And there you have it. That's OG gin and juice. Cheers, everyone. It needs a bit more gin. I'm not an alcoholic, I swear. All right, I'm in the mood now, let's go. So what are you gonna be making, Joey, is probably what you're asking. There was one dinner menu here that just spoke out to me because it probably has one of the best names ever created. So today I'll be making Spaghetti Della Hood, which is just the Snoop Dogg way of saying spaghetti with meatballs. You know, surprisingly, as much as I love my pasta dishes, I don't think I've ever actually made spaghetti meatballs from the get-go, so I think this might be a good first step. I've gathered all of the ingredients here that we will need for a spaghetti della hood. Let's see if I can successfully feed my girlfriend some, some good old classic hood food. I couldn't have said that in the least hood way possible. Let's go. Okay, so the first step we need for spaghetti della hood, we need to grab a massive bowl. We're gonna be adding 455 grams or about a pound of uh, minced beef. Now, uh, because Japan, beef is so freaking expensive, I had to go a little bit stingy and get a beef pork mixture. But hey, you know what? There's, there's a little bit of Japan thrown into this. It's spaghetti della Japan hood, if you will. One tablespoon of parsley, one tablespoon of Parmesan cheese, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and a whipped egg, and throw it all into a bowl to make us some, oh, and some breadcrumbs. I need a, I need, I need a cup of breadcrumbs as well. Some Japanese breadcrumbs, because again, you can't get hood crumbs from Japan, unfortunately. So mix all of that into a bowl and make some goddamn meatballs. But first, I need to wash my hands. 
hygiene is of the utmost importance in this cooking show. All right, so first of all, let's crack open the minced beef. You know, I barely ever cook as it is, and this is just freaking nerve wracking now that it's on camera and that the whole world is gonna judge my cooking skills. What are you staring at me for? Don't worry, I'm gonna I'm gonna make you the best goddamn meal you've ever seen. Okay, so I need how much breadcrumbs? 140 grams of breadcrumbs. I don't have an American cup, so I'm gonna have to just use uh, some kitchen scales. 140 grams is a lot of fucking breadcrumbs. Jesus Christ. Ski! Are you sure? Snoop Dogg, that's a lot of fucking breadcrumbs, dude. A tablespoon of freshly chopped parsley. So here we have this giant freaking parsley bundle. The gin and juice is actually quite nice. So a tablespoon, right? How much is a tablespoon? Do I use the stems as well or do I just use the leaves? Did you wash it? <laughs> no. I don't want us to get sick. We want no more. How do you chop this up? Like just like that? Yeah. Is that fine enough? I don't know. Can I go finer than that? I would, you could. I would say go finer. Okay. Can't wait for all the chefs in the comments to just be like, your technique is all wrong. Would you say that's a tablespoon? I would say that looks delicious. <laughs> all right, let's put it on a tablespoon and find out. Is that a tablespoon? That's fine. I think that's fine. Okay, cool. Ski up! Parmesan cheese. One tablespoon of parmesan cheese. So we have to grate some parmesan cheese onto a spoon. No. Alright, I'm gonna try and grate this onto the spoon. <laughs> I'm definitely hitting the spoon. <coughs> yeah, there you go. That's, that's pretty good. Alright, throw that in. Wow. Am I in Italy? Mamma mia! <laughs> oh, mamma mia! This smell is a divine. Uh, salt, pepper, and a whipped egg. Two table, two teaspoons of how many tablespoons? How many teaspoons in a tablespoon? Me, we have a measuring spoon. Do? Yeah. Oh. There you go. Well, fuck! I should have just used this. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do a fifth one for good measure. Nice. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can crack this in. One-handed crack. One-handed? Yeah. You got it. All right. Oh. Lie. Ah. Ah. Like a big pizza pie. That's amore. And brrr. Now all we have to do is just mix the whole thing and make some meatballs. Is there meat in there? After this show, you're gonna have like the chef's heart where you kind of just feel it, you know? Just feel the meat? Yeah, literally, you, that's all you have to do. I'm reading the meat right now. Feel the meat inside you. Feel the meat inside of me. Are you winning? Are you winning, winning son? <laughs> Are you cooking? Let him cook. Let him cook. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> it says here they recommend about 12 different meatballs. Mm. So I'm gonna make 12 meatballs out of this. All right, let's prep off these meat the balls. That's a, huge, that's, a that's, that's a huge ball. Stack them up. Stack them up. I managed to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hey, let's go. I'm gonna put a tiny little bit of oil in this. Let's cook the meat the balls. We're good. We're good. We good. We good, son. We got. We got to get four cloves of garlic and a cup of uh, diced onions. How do you open garlic? You, smash you smash it. it. <laughs> well. <laughs> you didn't see that. Wow, he's not joking. These garlic cloves are actually really big. Oh, damn. Damn, son, look at that. I'm actually excited for this dish. It smells oh. so good. All right, full cloves of garlic minced. I'm probably doing this very dangerously. God damn it. That's so tedious. How dice does it need to be? All right, so these meatballs are done for the time being. Let's just put them on this plate for now. They're not cooked all the way through, but what 
the cookbook has said is to just kind of let the outside of it cook. So we need 140 grams of onions, so let's just... My eyes! <laughs> uh Holy fuck, that's 140 grams exactly. Let's go! Ah! Uh <laughs> my eyes. Oh, uh, my eyes. Fuck. Ah! Uh All right, so now it's time to put the diced onions and the chopped garlic into the pot and we can start cooking. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> Thank you, Snoop. Two shots of vodka. <laughs> Whoa. All right, and once it starts to get hot, pour in your onions and your garlic. What is that? You want some? You want some gin and juice? What does that mean? I'll make you one. It's okay, so I think the onion and the garlic is cooked through now, so we're gonna put this to, what was it again? We put the tomato, bay leaf, and the canned tomatoes, and the bay leaf, and the sugar. And then it says add salt for flavor. And then it says put it on low heat for 30 minutes. So we're gonna wait for 30 minutes. Once that's done, we put in uh, this tomato paste right here and the meatballs and then let it cook for a further 30 minutes and then during that time we will uh, Cook up the spaghetti and then we're pretty much done. So see you in 30 minutes 30 minutes is up. It's time to put in the meatballs Also, I have to put in this tomato paste, uh, but knowing Japan, of course they had to make the fucking situation physically impossible because they gave me all these like tiny packets of tomato paste. Why could they not just put the whole thing of tomato paste in it? I don't know, but I'm gonna be using all of these two boxes full of tomato paste. So let's chuck those in. Let's chuck the meatballs in and then leave it in for another 30 minutes. Ooh, look at that. Oh, he cooking. Oh, he, he really cooking. Also, sorry if I sound a bit loud. I am two gin and juices in. Snoop, that shit's strong, yo. No, it'd be a good time as well to maybe kick the bay leaf out. Yeah. Why well, you can see it still. Yeah, did you lose it? No, it's right there, yeah. There it is. Found it. Yeah, boy. Up it! Good. All right, let's chuck the meatballs in. Two, three, four, five, six. Five. Kobe! Oh! All right, let's mix these in. Like that. Very nice. All right. The meatballs are in, buried. I have to let that sit for 30 minutes. Hey Siri, set a time for 30 minutes, babe. 30 minutes starting now. That's what's up. She's Australian? She's Australian. He, ha she, he had to do that because Alexa can't understand him. I, 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 I literally had to change my Siri to Australian because she didn't understand my accent. Rip. All right, the water is boiling. There's a couple minutes left on this, so now it's time to cook the spaghetti. So uh, Dr. Snoop has uh, said that it's probably best to cook it one minute less roughly than what is uh, considered al dente. Uh, so this spaghetti here, it says seven minutes till al dente. So I'm gonna cook this spaghetti for six minutes. That way uh, it'll give enough time for the spaghetti to kind of cook in with the sauce when we mix it as well. And then hopefully by the time the serving is ready, it'll be just right. So I've learned when cooking spaghetti that you, it's best to kind of like twist it like this. So you twist it a little bit and then you kind of, oh, that's one. And then you just, look at that. Beautiful. Woo! God, I'm good. I'm looking forward to this, man. Like this, this is going to be fucking good. Yeah. So hungry. I'm so hungry, dude. Oh, we're done. It's time to strain the poop, 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 pasta. All right, this thing is hot as fuck. So I'm gonna grab this. Fuck. All right, here we go. Past the strain time. Brrr. Look at that, that's a spaghetti. Mamma mia. Mamma mia, dude. Oh, fuck, that's hot. Oh, oh no, no! Scoop it all quickly, I'd say. 
Don't worry, the sink's clean. It's fine. <laughs> Fuck sick. All right, we good. Don't worry about it. The sink's clean. Don't worry about it. All right, put it back in. Jesus. It's look. It's not a Joey Scott cooking show without that happening. All right. I just definitely burned my fingers doing that. All right. Anyway. Now the final step is to just put the meatball sauce with the spaghetti and we have spaghetti della hood. All right, here we go. Let's not fuck this up. Yo. Dude, I think we got some fucking spaghetti della hood right here, boys. Look at that. Woo! Oh my God. All right, let's get that sauce right in there. All right, let's add some meatballs. Boom. How? It was actually the perfect amount of sauce for this spaghetti. Mm. I'm, I'm quite pleasantly surprised by that. And then, the finishing touches, mm. according to Mr. Dog, is some extra Parmesan. How much Parmesan do you want? A lot. A lot? Yeah. All right. Got your dog. Say when. Say when. More. And ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Snoop Dogg's Spaghetti Della Hood. Enjoy. All right, there you go, Luke, that's yours. Thank you so much. Can you go, darling? All right, let's try this out. Mm -hmm. Dude, this is gonna be bomb, I can already tell. Yeah, looks great. Smells good as well. All right, Dokimas. Oh, hell yeah. Let's try the meatball as well. It's a big freaking meatball. Mmm. Cooked all the way through? Yeah. That's good. Really good. Mmm. Hell yeah. What are we rating it? You can be honest, out of 10. Eight meatballs. Eight meatballs out of 10 meatballs? Yeah. 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 Eight? Yeah. Well, there you go, guys. That was Spaghetti Della Hood oh. by Snoop Dogg. Mmm. I would recommend it. But yeah, guys, that's it for today's Joey Scuff cooking show. Thank you for joining in. Um, if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like so I know that I can make another one of these in the future. And uh, thank you, Snoop Dogg, for teaching me how to cook. You know, you're, you're a legend in many different ways. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smack my face right here to subscribe to the channel. Let's keep making a big channel and then we'll go bigger. Over here next to my head is a couple more videos you can check out if you enjoyed this one and links to all my social media, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube Shorts, TikTok, and Patreon, all down in the description below. And I'm going to go enjoy this meal now with the fam. So I will see you guys in the next one. See ya. Mm. Bye.